This is Chippy with CarryPad.com, and yesterday we had the uh, smart devices Q, uh, sorry, T7 uh, Android device 2.1. Today we've got another Android device 2.1, slightly different uh, setup. This is going to be the Toshiba AC100, at least I think it is. This is a sealed box. I hope the AC100 is inside. It's, uh, it's a smart book, and if uh, any of you have been following the Meet Mobility podcast, you'll know I'm quite positive about the smart book category. I think it brings some, some very interesting elements to computing, like always on, like 3G, like uh, touch user interfaces, location, and ease of use. Um, it could be interesting for the netbook market. Now, we've tested the AirLife 100. And of course that wasn't the perfect device, Android still needs to mature a bit, but uh, what we've got here is one of the first, in fact I don't know of anyone else that's got a retail Tegra 2 platform device in uh, Europe yet. I know netbooknews.com have one out in Japan that they're testing, uh, Peter uh, out there is uh, testing that, so check out netbooknews.com. But this is I think the first retail one in Europe definitely. And uh, as, I've, as I'm one of the few people that has had the AirLife 100, I think I'm probably in a good position to be uh, testing this, so very happy to have it. We bought it uh, yesterday from Comtech.d in Germany, but I think it's a UK version, so um, let's not mess around, let's get straight into it, and um, check in that it's actually recording, because I don't want to be unboxing this and it's not recording. In fact, we've got a live session running along on, uh, on the side here, so I'm just going to start a recording of that one as well, just as a backup make sure we've got uh, two recordings going. There's a couple of people watching live. Uh, EPC News, Jakoto Mobilia, Pope Peter, that's Peter from NetbookNews.com. He knows all about this device already. So maybe I'll uh, watch uh, the chat session in the side here, see if I'm uh, doing anything wrong, saying anything wrong, getting the specs wrong. Here it is, and it really is a Toshiba AC100. I really didn't expect this to appear in Europe uh, until after IFA, which is next week, 2nd of September was the launch date I was expecting. And sure enough, there it is with the uh, Tegra 250 platform here. Um, I'll go over some specs as I un undo it, but this one isn't the 3G version. So uh, the 3G version is following up. I think it could be another two to four weeks before that's uh, on the market. And in fact, we've got one of those on order as well, uh, because I think 3G brings something special to these uh, smart books. As well, so let's uh, change the cam. We'll get close in and uh, we'll do the unboxing. Take around the device, see if it's got any battery power. Switch it on, do a quick test. Okay, here we are. Quick look around the box. See if there's any uh, surprises. Um, looking at the specs, everything looks as expected. So let's break the seal and uh, and get into it. Factory seal in a number of languages. Kind of interesting. I wonder if this is going to be sold in many many different European countries so uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a UK version okay out the top okay there's a European plug kind of indicates that it may not be a European version so it might be a QWERTZ -E keyboard Toshiba power supply fairly lightweight um, yeah fairly hefty kettle plug socket there and let's just pull that out Come on, there she is. And anything else in there? Manual. That is it. So not a lot in there, no case, no cover. And uh, let's just have a look at the manual to see what language it is. It's in German. So now I'm expecting a Quartz keyboard. And the uh, quick uh, guide is also in German. So this is obviously. German model. I don't mind because uh, I live in Germany and I'm used to these keyboards. So there we go. Super lightweight. My goodness, this is um, so light. It's not feeling real. It feels like something I just got from Toys R Us. Um, yeah. Wow. It's. I'm just trying to find a uh, netbook. I haven't got one uh, to, to hand here, but that is super small, super light. Plus, it's a little bit. Cheap. Actually, I looked on the uh, on the images. It looked a lot better, but that's a, I'd say it's a little bit uh, cheapy on the plastic side there. Um, on the bottom, nothing there. Battery, stereo speakers, removable battery as well. So um, let's open it up and see what keyboard we've got then. Okay, yeah, German keyboard. 
Q-W-E-R-T-Z. So for you guys in Germany that are looking and wondering whether that uh, model is uh, with the German keyboard, it is. And, uh, and there it is. Let's just quickly go around the device though. So on the right hand side here we've got a single USB port. We've got, uh, uh, whether that's an HDMI port uh, for a dongle, I don't know. Or is it a USB mini? It might be a USB mini. And a DC in and Kensington lock. And on the other side, there's the HDMI and headphone out. Might be headset, I'm not sure. And there's a SDMMC, SDHC card slot there. And that's pretty much it on the front. There's, there are the indicators. Oh, yeah, there's one other thing we need to check. Is where is that indicator light so that I can do my um, extreme email notification rave later? Where is it? I can't see the notification light. It's supposed to be an email notification light on the side here that blinks when you've got the device closed because this is an always on device. Um, you can actually leave it closed, leave it connected to 3G or a wireless LAN in this case, and it will still run. So, opening the device up. Um, I'm actually a little bit uh, in front of the camera, it's a bit difficult to test everything here. Power button, reasonable keys, actually quite nice keys, feel, feel pretty solid, well spaced, large, yeah, it's coming on already. Um, on the top here we've got a whole load of special keys, because this is not a Windows machine, there's no need for function keys, so you've got uh, audio controls, brightness, uh, volume, yeah, audio player controls, uh, email button, web button, back button, and a settings button, I guess, and a camera, webcam on, off button. Mouse pad, two buttons, not too bad, bit of flex in the, in the panel there, it's not that uh, super sturdy. Let's take this uh, sticker off at the bottom here, and you can see the indicator lights on the bottom there. Power, standby I guess, uh, sorry, um, DC in, power, battery and wireless LAN uh, 3G indicator as well if, you, if this is a 3G version. So it's booted up. Um, one of the things they push on this is the high brightness screen. It's a glossy screen which um, kind of goes against the grain. If you want a high brightness screen for outdoor use you might not want a glossy screen but it's good to start with a glossy screen. You can always put a matte screen protector over the top and turn it into a matte screen. You can't do it the other way around. Um, not a touch screen on this one. Uh, on the uh, AirLife 100 of course it was a, a touch screen. Web camera at the top. Right, I'm going to spin the camera around now so that I'm behind the camera. I can actually look at the unit and uh, try and control it and then we can uh, get an idea of, uh, of what's going on there. Okay, I'm going through the Toshiba setup here which is uh, allowing me to choose uh, my Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, I've noticed on the, on the mouse pad here there's a little scroll area on the right hand side and the middle of it is a uh, normal mouse button. So scroll area on the, on the right is, uh, is good. We're connected to Wi-Fi now. Uh, let's accept the agreement, whatever it says, because we're committed now. And that's installing packages. I remember from Peter's video on networknews.com, um, that took a little while. So let's switch the camera off, wait for those packages to install, and we'll be back when they're, in, when they're installed. So we're in, only took a couple of minutes to get that uh, everything installed. Now I haven't actually played with the AC100, but I'm just going from what I've seen on uh, Peter's uh, video at networknews.com. But let's just go straight to the applications pane now and see what we got uh, pre-installed because the thing that needs to be mentioned about this is, is it's, it's open source Android plus Toshiba's work. It's not open source Android plus Google licensed applications plus Toshiba work. So what you don't get is Marketplace, you don't get um, Gmail, you don't get Contact Sync, you don't get all that, that, uh, that nice stuff that you expect with Android and this is one of the problems, one of the really big problems we have with the AirLife 100 is that you start, kind of feel something is missing. Now obviously Toshiba have tried to backfill some of those applications. I can see already Comanji Market. This is uh, from the Comanji web station. They're obviously using that. You can use other uh, uh, third party um, app stores like and app and other app stores. Side loading also works I guess. Email app, Docs2Go. This is uh, Read Write. Um, 
Word and Excel and PowerPoint compatible uh, document editor. Evernote we've got here, Fring, Amazon MP3. So they've installed quite a bit of stuff, Media Player, Toshiba. Uh, Opera Mobile. So Opera Mobile is something you can't get in the marketplace. They've built this especially for the device. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how that performs and whether it brings a fuller internet experience than the um, browser on, uh, on uh, Android. And then if we go to the right, okay, there's a Toshiba online product. I don't know what that is. Could be uh, release notes or something. FB readers on here as well. We've got a set of widgets, which you can obviously place on the screens. Looks like there's five front screens. There's some bookmarks, and then we go to settings. Now, I just want to show you on the top, there's some uh, buttons to get straight to settings. And uh, let me go to about device so that I can see. Whoops, back about device and touch the click works. 2.1 version of Android. So um, the rumor is that 2.2 uh, is coming for these devices. Uh, Toshiba in Japan have said that, so it'll be interesting to see how that improves the, the web experience. Um, yeah, I also want to mention this screen is lovely. This screen is much, much nicer than the uh, AirLife 100, which had a resistive touch low, which made it matte. So it's very bright, very glossy. So it's going to be really nice for videos. We're going to test that later in a live session that we've got running on uh, carrypad.com slash live uh, this evening, the 28th of August. Yeah, there's uh, media play buttons here. If I hit the play button, I wonder if anything's going to happen. No, because I haven't got the media play running. Uh, we've got short access to the browser. Uh, to In fact, let's uh, let's go... Hey, there's me touching the screen. <laughs> Carrypad.com. Let's see how quickly this works. Zero, one, two, three, four... Five, that's good. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's really good. That's 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 really really good actually. Um, it wouldn't be much faster than that on a on a netbook. Maybe seven or eight seconds, but that is loaded without flash, of course. Um, and I'm finding that pretty impressive. Scroll works on the right part of the the um, the mouse. Also, the cursor buttons work. Go what looks like a quarter of a page. No, it just jumps across links with the cursors but the scroll button works here. Um, yeah, anyway, going back to these buttons here, uh, there's an email client. Uh, what have we got? Webcam on, off. Let's cancel that. Um, volume up and down, all sorts of other stuff here. That's a really handy bar to have, maybe more useful than function keys on a, on a netbook. All right, loads to do on this, loads to test video, audio, web, um, email, application sync, contact sync, all that sort of stuff and of course battery life um, and the uh, email notification rave which we're gonna do. If you've seen the Toshiba um, teaser videos for this there's a light that, because uh, this device isn't off by the way, now I've got this closed, this device isn't off, if I open it up again and hit the power button everything's still, <laughs> yes everything's still running uh, including the networking, if you configure it such. Sometimes if you uh, you can configure it to turn the networking off. And that will still get your emails. So you'll get a notification. So you can leave this in your bag and you can get a notification when something's happened. I hope that notifier works for other apps as well. Anyway, enough from me. This video is going to go on forever unless I uh, shut up now. This is the Toshiba AC100 on Tegra 2. 102 4 by 600 screen, 512 meg RAM, 8 gig of uh, flash storage. Um, Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth in this version, HDMI out, uh, headphone out, and uh, lots more to come on carrypad.com. Like I said, live session tonight, August 28th, uh, 2200 Berlin time. We're going to get uh, stuck into this and see if we can uh, find its limits. Thanks for watching. This is Chippy from carrypad.com.